You've always got it clear in a room. Well, it's practically wrestled Diane past the door. And Amy made me promise that I'd call her as soon as we're done. I get it would be easier for everyone if I just had a termination. None of this is easy, I get that. But have you really thought about what your life would be like bringing up this baby? So I'm just supposed to get rid and you can knock Lee about a bit so you've done your big brother duty. And then we can just go back to normal, pretend that nothing ever happened. You're young. You can have other babies. So people keep saying, it's great that you're such experts. OK, so let's say you have it. What if it's a boy? What if it's like his dad? He won't be. I'll make sure of it. All right, what, what happens when he, he does something bad and you're just looking at him, wondering... What, what happens when he's five and he's asking where his dad is? Or when he's 18? Or when he has kids of his own? I'll tell him he's dead. Loads of kids grow up without a dad. Oh, so we just lie to him all his life and hope he never finds out? Yes, Robert, if we have to. He'll know. He'll know something's wrong. You can't keep something like that a secret. Please, Vic, please don't do this. I can't handle watching you throw your life away like this. Nobody's asking you to. I don't need your blessing or anybody else's. If you can't stand by my decision, then stay away. Because it'll just be better for everyone like that. Robert, just go. Oh.